All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Readers. We are taking a look at the weed sector today, looking at Tilray, Hexo, and ACB. Look, there's a lot of bad things happening here, okay? But often I talk about what I kind of call bottom feeder swings, okay? Basically, when there's so much pain and you're this far away from the eight moving average, there's this natural tendency to want to kind of come back to it you know, will it break it? I'll be honest. I don't think so. But going from where are we down here all the way to maybe right here is a pretty big swing. Okay. So we'll, we'll talk about a couple things shortly and look the offering. I just really want to say one main thing. Okay. I'm generally not scared of offerings. Okay. I'm very much scared of, of reverse splits. I will run away as fast as I can. An offering can be a good thing, actually, in my opinion, even for a short term trader like me, you know, so just something to keep in mind really quickly. I see post market. Let's take this to regular hours. Good. Nothing changed. All that said, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We're going to take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how this thing is setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like this video, subscribe to the channel. That's my kitty in the background making some noise. Sorry about that. Um, if you can share this video, if you can comment good or bad, I'm telling you, anything you can do really does help me out with these YouTube algorithms. But for real, I very, very much appreciate your time, okay? So look, let's get into it. And again, obviously, look, offering aside, okay, when you lose all the moving averages, you can see on this day, we clearly lose it. And the day after it also confirms, right? And the 200s right above it, we are under all five. When you're under all five, bad things happen. And when you're starting to cluster, what I call a horizontal cluster, when either all four or all, all five are just kind of a stone throw away and just really close, you either violently go up or down. I've said it on a bunch of them. And look, the offering, I think added a little extra fuel to the fire, but it really seems like we are violently coming down right now. And, and, and it, it's rough because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that was that line right there was our all time low number. And and really, once we lost that all time low support, that was ugly. And the following week, I mean, it's only 7%, but only is kind of an understatement. I guess that's a, that's a big amount. You know what I mean? So um, scary to say the least. Look, there is a reason to consider watching this on Monday. OK, and it is, again, what I call a bottom feeder swing. Red, 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 really easily turns to green, 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 green. I've said that on a number of videos and this is another example of it. And you fall away from the eight, you go to the eight, you fall away from the eight, you go to it, right? Like that's a natural move. You can see it here. You fall away, you go back, you fall away, you go back, you fall away, you go back. It, it, it is a natural thing that happens. And look, is, is this a move I like to play? Honestly, I don't, all right? I've got a full-time job. I, I don't have the ability to like have my finger on the mouse as much as I know I would need in a trade like this. But if you have the time, if, if you know what you're doing, there is, like I said, almost a 20 burger right here going again, roughly a buck 70 to $2, you're adding about 30 cents right there. 15, 15, 17, 17, right? Like we're, we're talking about a very big double digit swing if it hits. The problem is, again, you're under all five moving averages. You're under the eight, you're under the 20. Eight looks like it wants to keep going down. 20 looks like it wants to keep going down. 50 starting to, tw like nothing is saying I want to go up. You know what I mean? So it, it very, very easily can drop right back to about 170. All right. And I know it only is two cents, but once a drop it, like you can see it, right? Like it, it, it it's, I know it, no one wants to talk about pennies. I believe me, I know. But what really matters is look, I can't even draw a new all time low support line because honestly, that's an insignificant green candle in my book. All right. So this line was probably drawn more off of this thing 
than any other candle if I'm really looking at it. I see that it hits it right there. It almost kind of hits it right there, but um, I need a good big candle, a good big green open candle for me to say, all right, I think this is like, I'm telling you, this thing can very easily lose this candle and keep going down, all right? So I am very much more worried than I am, you know, optimistic. But again, there could be a good 20% burger here. And for real, don't get too excited if it goes up. Don't, don't think to, you know what I mean? Like it's an easy way to get caught, like, nothing, nothing good happens under the eight and the 20. And this is, is, is looking like a scarier version of this, right? You, you can see that the eight is going down steeper. The 20 is kind of making its own move. And when you get a gap like that, I mean, I'm trying to find another, I, I don't know if maybe this is one that that's just a very violent shift down is, is really all I'm saying. And Man, I'm, it, it's not going to be easy getting over these two lines. It, definitely not even the eight alone, all right? So be careful. If you want to make a move, again, I highly stress, you better have your finger on the mouse the, the whole time your, your money's in this thing. It's a bad weekly chart. We kind of talked about it already, right? We lose all-time low support. We get two nasty red candles after that. Kind of, you know, not a surprise to say the least. Actually, it looks like MACD wants to get much worse because it's been horizontal for a while. As I zoom in, yeah, it gets a little more violent as you zoom in. But um, I don't think the worst is over for Tilray by any means, in all honesty. Be careful here. Hexo makes sense that the chart looks relatively the same. Again, Tilray is buying Hexo. The shares will become the same at one point. I've always kind of said, and honestly, I don't know what the answer is, but it is an important thing to do. If you know company B is going to get bought by company A, so if you know Hexo will become Tilray at some point, you should really try to find out. And again, if you want your money in this, sometimes it's actually better to buy the other company. It's better to buy maybe Hexo if the conversion is favorable when it goes to Tilray, okay? What does that mean? Look, I'm making up numbers right now, but let's say, uh, I'm not gonna do the math well in my head, but look, Tilray is roughly, let's just say $2 a share, okay? Let's just pretend. If you can buy Hexo for about a dollar to a dollar fifty, and it converts one to one. Oh, for sure. Why would I not want to buy the the dollar fifty instead of the two dollar, right? If you can buy Hexo at a dollar, and it, for every two it becomes one Tilray. Hey, it's actually about the same, right? And it kind of doesn't matter which one to buy. Just kind of buy it on the charts. Anything in between makes you decide to go to Tilray or Hexo. I hope I said that well, but there are ways of, of actually buying one over the other, knowing it's going to become the other one and, and actually maximizing your money. So again, I really hope I said that well. If not, throw some questions in the comment. I'll try to clean that up. But same basic thought here. Look, we are under the eight moving average. Maybe there's a reason to believe we can come up to about 109. That's about a 10% swing, obviously, right? Going from a dollar to a dollar ten. That said, look, the distance between the eight and the and where we're at now isn't as juicy as it is in Tilray. So maybe I'd consider it on Tilray. I don't think on this, honestly. And just look, same basic thoughts, right? Like maybe we'll kind of come back to the eight. Do I think we're gonna break the eight? I don't know. Unless people in the comments can give me a solid reason why like the 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 this was an overreaction, I really think eight's coming down, 20's coming down, and we're gonna struggle with these lines for just a little bit. I think the saddest thing overall is the markets are doing well and this sector isn't. Like that, that hurts, you know what I mean? So um, not quite at all time lows yet either. If, if this thing, where am I getting that 91 cent from? Interesting. That's probably coming off the daily because I know I don't give a shit about this wick right here. I'm sure somewhere on the daily is where that is. But yeah, we're we're a stone throw away from all time lows here. Already in all time lows with Tilly. Um, that's a that's a scary thing for sure. ACB. Okay, look, 
this actually is not a good candle, all right? Because we open up here, but drop to down here, all right? I, it, it Green open is better than green close, all right? And I'm telling you, having four candles, right? Green open, red open, red close, green close, those four versus the normal two makes this stack that much better. I promise you that. But look, red, 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 green, 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 green for sure, right? That said, I don't know if we're getting over this moving average, honestly. And, and you can kind of see it, right? What should have been a really easy run to actually a little higher, right? It, it opens up here, runs a little bit to there. There's, there's no resistance at all, right? So it really should have been a clean run. Instead, it ends up closing down here under the open, right? So um, yeah, I'm, I'm very much not convinced between these three. Look, all of them kind of have this like RSI peaking thing. I don't care. 80% of the work is up here and 80% and of the work looks bad. So um, yeah, not, not the best. I think there's maybe a little bit of room for recovery on all three of these. But again, nothing to me is screaming, you know, breaking moving averages, sustainability and all those kind of things that I need, right? So be careful in the sector for sure. Hey, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.